Secondly, I really do feel that when I was younger, I'm like 51 now, yeah? When I was wow, about... Wow, you look amazing. Oh, thank you very you much. You do, you look amazing. That's cool, man. Thank you very much. Look amazing. <laughs> no, but when I was younger, like, I, I grew up in East London, Hackney, Cannon Town. Both those areas are areas where, you know, the community was either black or brown or poor, right? And a bit of all of it. And in those communities, we've seen crime and violence, obviously. And I had a fork in the road a few times where it was either go this way mm. or end up down that route. Mm. The two things saved me. One, music, right? Being a DJ. My uncle was a DJ. <laughs> my cousin's dad is there. My late uncle, he was the one that got us into DJing early. He was like, no, nah, you're not going out to play football. Come with me to lift boxes. And I was like, well, I don't want to lift boxes. But in the end, ended up loving it. Yeah. So I would go out with him and DJ. The other fork in the road is when I was sort of about 14 years old, I went to a boys' school in Cannon Town. And Cannon Town at the time was a national front area. National Front was a sort of right-wing organisation, just wanted black and brown people out. And in that area, I used to face it all the time, walking down the street, people were like, oi, come here, you this, hey, come here that. You know what I mean? And you're getting chased and you're running for your life and then all oh, you're getting into scuffles. And then times the knife crime wasn't as big as it is, was, but people carried knives. And that fork in the road for me was my drama teacher saying, you're really good at acting, you know? Why don't you come to the extra classes? I'm like, boy. And you go to a boys' school <laughs> and everyone's playing football outside yeah. or going on after school to do something and you're going to drama class. 